Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Mr. Maker. What's going on? Not none in the middle of all going. Why don't y'all stop what you're doing right now? Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. And I mean all, I mean all, I mean on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us. Boss Talk Podcast 101. We pop up first in line. Y'all always see us on the street and be like, man, I love what y'all doing. Keep up the good work. Support the brand. This is how you can support our brand. It's under each and every video, including this one right here on our YouTube channel. There's a link that says join our membership. Click that link. Follow all the instructions. And that's how you can get all the exclusive content that we hide from everybody else that everybody been dying to see. So go ahead and click that right now thank you for all the love and support man check it man we got some guys in here today y'all y'all listen man this family in here today man it's going down man you know what i'm saying uh I, I i'm blessed bro like i got some of the coldest friends in the world man we down here man in dallas texas it's about to go down man bo dub and jb is in the city this week in nigga What's the good? week in nigga man. i mean you niggas has yeah. got how many shows five shows God right now man damn it five oh, shows i done right cussed now. oh shit. five shows <laughs> this minute <laughs> man hey so man you you gotta think about it, bro. Did you ever see yourself doing five shows when you was just really just starting? Did you see it? Man, I was just trying to get one show out the way. Man. You know How I mean? was it the first show? Man, first show was cool, man. It was cool. I'm talking like, ever. Man, cool. Like I dig it in front of my my hometown. No, I dig it no, in front of my hometown, Lufkin. Man, I put the show together myself. You paid for a self book. That nigga self book. Yeah. <laughs> Ring a lot of little senior singers and building. Hey man, filled it up, man, and did what I got supposed to do, man. And I knew right then, like, yeah, I got something. That's for me. This is what I'm doing. I got something. Matter Why? of fact, matter of fact, if y'all go to YouTube, if you go, uh, it's like probably only some of the only stand up I got on there. It's like four, like five years ago, I had on that big red suit like Steve Harvey. Oh, that was like my first show ever I did, man. JB, what's up, baby? What's up, B dog? Man, you done, hey man, you done mess around now. Y'all niggas is running around this whole uh, doing comedy everywhere. Every time oh, you look around, oh, definitely. you on this stage, you don't, you ain't got no fear when you get in there, boy. You trying to knock them out the park, the, ain't you? The thing is, you got to make believers out of non-believers and just go for what you know. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of folks yeah. don't want to see you where you at, so you got to show them, hey, you got to knock me down and God got me. Hey, man, say. That, I gotta ask something real uh -oh, quick. Uh oh, uh oh. Um, oh, she come in. That's how she come in. Up. How many <laughs> cowboy jerseys you have? Because you always <laughs> throwing them in the trash, burning them, or doing something like that. I'm like, he gonna have to run out of it. Why you keep going and buying new ones? Because, Why? You know, my method is, you know, I, I, I like to give game. People be like, I know you went back and got that jersey. That's what I be thinking. I spent 150 on the jersey, right? But I made 2,500 off the video. Wow. So, so you it's really a, it's a method. So you really burn it. You really trash it. No, well, you not really burn, burn it. it, but I trash it. Like the last video I did with the Cowboys, yeah. I, that was that was in Raleigh, North Carolina. Once I dropped it, you didn't that go back in there and go get it. It's over with once I drop it. It's mud, dirt, food. It's over. <laughs> you should just give it away to somebody else. Somebody would have wanted it. Nah, they'll be all right. They do better without that cowboy jersey. <laughs> they'll be all right. They don't need that one. <laughs> they don't need that one. So let's be real for a second. Where where will we be? The, are we going to be in the playoffs, Super Bowl, what we doing this year? Dallas Cowboys. Gonna be a long year, brother. And I'm talking about long year, brother. It's ain't looking good for us. Not at all. Nah, we can't run the ball, bro. If you can't run the ball, you damn sure ain't gonna be able to pass the ball. Then they go get Zeke or something. Who, who, he back. Who? He back. <laughs> who? He back. <laughs> Man, you can get back there and do what he's doing. <laughs> he ain't doing shit. <laughs> he wouldn't even be playing. Nigga, fix that wall. Man, you know, and and I don't. I, we on the Cowboys. We got to stay I on. Got, it. I want to ask him about that. I know too. what you about now. I know what you about now. So I know what you about now. Let me ask you this: <laughs> Everybody saw Jerry Jones with Jamie Fox looking at meats. <laughs> <laughs> he don't give a damn. See, he normally them, they they supposed to be out there scouting talent. You know, white man always been. You know, mysterious, wondering what we got between our lid and yeah. Jerry Jones and one of them ones. Like, you thought he was looking back in the 60s at them niggas? He be trying to see you. <laughs> what we had. You know, see, God show him it's not even feeling. Go look at that picture Jerry Jones got when he was doing that. He, he, was, he was trying to see him because he had heard. That, that we got things like sauces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we <laughs> big big time. So he wants to own the team, and then ever since then he been amazed by our packages. And he really so he go in the dressing room just to see that. Absolutely. But did you he see? Told you. Did you see Jamie Fox when he him too? He said him 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 too. Y'all know. 
Y'all know we've heard a lot of things. You know, allegedly <laughs> things have been coming out. A lot of too. And I love my brother. Talk about my Jamie now. You can be your Jamie. You can be your Jamie. A lot of stuff being said. Mama, Mama, Johnny Gill. Him too. Oh damn. Who? Him too. Johnny Gill. That's my cousin. I heard about that. They say that's my cousin. He got a soft spot for brothers. No, man. That's just what they say allegedly. That's my cousin. He got a soft spot for brothers. I'm tired of hearing about all these alleged. If if all these alleged, we gotta are, say that though. Hold on, if no no no, if all these alleged are <laughs> That's true, the only we say it. Hold on, if all these alleged are true, then who is straight? Me, she. I can't speak for nobody <laughs> else. I can't speak for nobody she, else. She. You know what, man? I when I seen that that. I was like, damn, they live. When people get older, they start letting stuff yeah, out they man. normally would say. Let me tell you say. some real talk. Jerry Jones don't say that to somebody around that he ain't comfortable with. Wow. So obviously, wow. there's been some conversations before for him to say that. And he didn't know he was on live. No, he, he probably he knew. knew. He, he knew. He knew. I don't think. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't but think he, he why, knew. Why, why was he so comfortable to say that with Jamie? Think about it. Think about that. And a lot of people, I've heard damn. a lot of people said that if it was them... They would have, before they cut it off, they would say, what you talking about? Just to try to clear themselves, to make it sound like, you know what, he not in no cahoots You're not finna say that to no Jerry John, what you talking about? Nah, nah, nah but nah, you gotta nah. understand, Jamie, this Jamie versus the Jamie before he got sick, is a, mm -hmm. I hadn't seen this Jamie, but y'all might have. I hadn't seen him, he don't come out he like don't he come out to. very often. So it's I mean, a different, when you see him, you like, cause damn. So, many, so much, you know, is he a clone? It, it, yeah. it gets so much with yeah. Jamie. Jamie is, Huge figure, bro. Yeah, like so he ain't coming out right now. He he playing. He ducked off. He don't even come out like. But you gotta to. think. And I hate saying this. And uh -oh. he used to talk about that. Uh -oh. You know, Jamie used to throw parties too. Yeah, big parties. Yeah. Do you think that's why he's Studio, not coming out? Because once the P Diddy stuff started going on, he's like, let me let me just sit right here. I don't until blame him. Why, why they, so? they say it was some stuff with him and Diddy when the whole sickness thing started. That was one of the things they was really yeah. talking yeah. about. Yeah. They was they was like, if something went on with he yeah. said something and it, it got out and then this happened. This is the stuff we hear. Yeah. And I'm nobody, not hoping not, I'm not hoping not. Even if Jamie ever I allegedly participated in any of them activities. At the end of the day, that's their business. They grown mm -hmm. men, you know. They can do what they want to do. It's not breaking the law to throw like, parties. No, but I, I hate the fact that the world we live in, we we, we constantly bringing our ground. brothers yeah. down, and yeah. our brothers are allowed themselves to be so weak to yeah. be in no kind of freak offs like that, man. If I'm a uh -huh. freak off, it's gonna be with women, not with dudes. Mm -hmm. I'm not finna be in the room with another guy butt naked. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna no, do me all neither, that. But I, the freak off word terminology, when you said it, you know, it's just a, it's amplifying the situation, the freak yeah. off. Like, I never heard that terminology to her lately. Was that what he called it? Or where did the freak off word come from? Think about you and the freak it off. I don't no, know. No, I'm saying. White people. people. Where where it come from? Like, it's white a freak people. off. White people come, created that word freak off. Yeah. When it first popped off, when they had went and got him and picked him up, then they say he had a freak off. That one time too? They was in there having sex with, with, with men and women allegedly, women, and Diddy yeah, was getting behind them. How you move your hips like that? Freak to, the, off. to the guys, not to the women. How you move your hip like that? You give an extra push when you do that. Like, it, it, it was. What? <laughs> he was, I'm being honest, so man. He was, it was an art to it. He it was, was trying to figure out like, that from? D Diddy was watching niggas' hips. The way they moved. The way they. And it's fascinating. That's how he came out with that. Harlem shake shit. <laughs> that was from watching other men uh, doing oh, that thing. I'm not lying. Uh, yeah. Man, I'm, not, I'm, I'm being serious. Yeah, I'm the floor, that's what he was saying. Shit, yeah. A freak off. He was studying people. How and they move their bodies. You know. But you know, I feel like. The reason why a lot of them got caught up in doing, you know, not just females, I feel like it's a lot of drugs got into it. Cause when you make one drug, make me want another man. No, what but hold on, they when I say that, when I say that, cause then if you <laughs> no. if you doing all these drugs, then you don't know what you're doing, and you having threesomes, and you're supposed to be with a girl, and then you know you don't know what you know. What? It just went left. After no, that. I don't go that left. Uh, I don't go. It that don't left. never go that left. You Ew. know something ain't right now when you having sex with a girl. Just for being if you in a room with another guy and he got another chick. And if that nigga staring at me, no, I ain't not going instead of what he I'm doing. I'm not going to be party in there. Uh -uh, and I'm not in there with him. Shouldn't be in there no way. You know no. how I did it talk? Damn, money. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you working with? You money? said last time, like, you you know, when he talked to me, he said, man, you know, baby, like, like, like what, what's man, up? Man, you know, on, it, it's it's bad. Like it's some p things that were said that you can't unhear, yeah. that you can't unsee, 
These are things you can't. I know Biggie not happy. I know Biggie. Miss Viola Wallace, you see her? What she said? I saw she that. gonna slap the dog. She, she got sick of this. I saw that. Her, her son and put his life on the line for this. Yeah, man. Better not have his name come up nowhere in this. She gonna definitely find him. But y'all showing up, boy. I tell you, I ain't, I ain't really heard from Jay. I know y'all be trying. He to ain't. Pick. He I ain't heard from His name on the list too I ain't heard I want, all the, the only thing you heard Is heard that he was Jay. getting a divorce They said allegedly That was allegedly it was just, You ain't hearing Who Jay-Z? Yeah they, they, that's what they, they said Oh no nah, you heard it Yep <laughs> Oh you heard it It's that's real low said. key If y'all notice yeah. It low like You don't see nobody that, What's that woman Jaguar Rice She on that nigga Ass like back pockets <laughs> yeah. She on that boy she had like back yeah. Hey, they, dad just came out and said, "Why if she te- not telling the truth? Why didn't nobody ain't sued her? Mm-hmm. He didn't quit talking for his teeth fall out. Real deal. He nigga wear a poo size to man. That nigga came out and spit the whole cup. But talking about the P Diddy situation, you know, he had all of them oils, a thousand bottles of oils. But they don't, they don't bother me. They don't bother me. But then at the same time, you were on live or something with Tio and he. He said, oh, yeah, for the right amount of money. Oh, how, did you feel, minute, how did you feel when he said that? Because T.O.'s an NFL player. He used to get rubbed down. Oh, so, so he didn't let it be. It's normal for him. That's, that's why right he was going to go. That. Yeah, he, know, he been getting rubbed down all his life like that. How do you? As long as it's by a female. No. no. I think they got male trainers in the NFL rubbed them. Yeah. They got to rub okay. them guys' muscles down. That's the reason why he said it like that. Yeah, because okay. he, he, he's so used to it. He want that bread. Yeah. That bread, right? He gonna let him rub him nah, down. Me go, man. Nah, you're not, not going. Nah, you're not going. Nah, you wouldn't me. let P did it rub you. Never. <laughs> no shit. I'm a boy, Damon. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, man. Play. Like, we men, man. No money. We men. We don't do that. <laughs> we men. Like if I ever had a son, I wouldn't even sit my son on my lap. I don't do none of that. Mm-hmm. I got a son. We're not doing that. We ain't did none of that. Have you ever, you ain't that. never seen none of that. <laughs> no, no, no. Not doing that. No sir. None of my boys. My boys is real studs. That was like they some real ones. Like yeah, yeah. yeah we getting some. Grandkids and all ain't no gilding. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, this is gilding's running around no, this motherfucker, and they down there now. So no, too, yeah, no. yeah, they not. They they ready. They ready. It's time to you know we yeah. gonna we gonna represent, produce. Yeah, yeah, gonna go down through yeah. that. It's going thing. down. So man, like, how did you and To even link up? Look like you and To. I see Shannon Sharp and what's that boy Ocho? Ocho now, yeah. Is, is, is To yo uh, Ocho? Well, you right. know, me, me and To, we got chemistry, bro. We we always been chopping it up in the DM for the last couple of years, and you know, we just just trying to try some shit. I see see if it stick. Just see what it do. Uh, yeah, you know, he's a Hall of Famer. Why wouldn't I would want to? Try to link up with him on some stuff and on the NFL talking sport. He know basketball too. Yeah, and you know we got good chemistry, man. We just chop it up and make it do what it do. We ain't trying to be Uncle Ocho. <laughs> no, they, they out of this world, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they out of this world. Man, bro. that one that they didn't. I'm gonna get off of it, man. But boy, when he said he tried to go deeper and and it didn't, you know, and I'm say you didn't have. <laughs> but them niggas tripped me out. I laughed. He can't. He can't. He can't talk about that one. He can't talk about that one. But these niggas is crazy. <laughs> Boy, they they got a hell of a oh, yeah. chemistry, man. They do, man. That's what you need, man. Like, mm-hmm. now, like, like, what's going on with the internet now that you see that that's different from when you first, you know, when you first popped out on the scene. Now, being that you seasoned in it, like, everybody trying to do sports video now. Since I started, I tried to do it, man. It didn't everybody work too good. Me, I, I, I jump in there. I said, "Bubba Dub, see it. I'm gonna see it." <laughs> but I don't. I like it though, man, because it let me know, man. I'm a trendsetter. At the end of the day, man. Um, you know, people like you know. People see something you're doing and they like it, they're gonna do it too. Why not? Can you drifted from your skits a little bit? You, sure. you, you Major like, drill. Yeah, Major yeah. drill. I'm really not into that no more like that. I'm, but you still are go you in fans every asking now you for it though? Cause you know uh, they love a certain well, way. It's football season, so I'm really not gonna give it to them like that. I'm gonna give them football, basketball, fucking crank back up. But I have started something. I told my team when I started doing them fist and skits, they just hit. Mm-hmm. Fish and skits every I'm doing. Thursday. So every Thursday. I'm just every Thursday. Meddling every now and then. Can you fish really? Absolutely. Who you taught you to fish? Texas. I don't oh, care. Who no, no, no. I don't care. 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 I you man, no, I ain't, ain't no lying. way, hell no. I Why you gonna sit and tell that lie? What, you, what bait you <laughs> use? <laughs> what? What? No, 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 you, you did not. Your damn no, mind. no, no you did not. Yep. A crappie. 
No, nah, I love crappie now. <laughs> I love crappie now. <laughs> hey, I went out there to Nashville. I ain't supposed to tell this story. I went out there to Nashville with Young Buck, and we went. Through, what? He caught some crappies. Oh uh, shit! And them whole best fish I ever had in my life, bro. I went down that trail talk, they no pill talk. What I do? Good. What I do when I went down there and got different trail talk? I went all the way down twenty. I met him. I filmed it. I got me a bag of fish. He didn't caught some fish, man. I took it back to the house. Boy, she cooked it. Nah, it, it was a bass. It was a bad. <laughs> I knew it had to be. Mine was eleven pounds, man. Eleven pounds and four ounces. Was it a pre stock <laughs> lake? Pre stock pond? No, no, we don't do no, that. We ain't doing no boosie. We ain't fishing like little boosie. Like, no. Because no, y'all be like that. people be boasting that they got this, that, but it's a pre stock pond. A lot I know of these people be going. Some through. people do, but not anybody can catch that a pre stock pond. Drill talk fishing. I'm telling you, Sam Raven. So, ooh, who you went, went down there? Yeah, my, back in the day, my daddy used, you know, used to be big in pit bulls. Yeah. Dogs, and there's a pit bull for him out there. So, ooh, That's why you use dog dog food to catch me. Well, my daddy cheap, by him. got that bait. You got dog food yeah. for him. Man, man you go out there get some of them night crawls. You rub that old grass, that old dead leaves over. Yeah. Get like some dirt. Yeah, get some oh, old yeah. night crawls. Yeah. Get your old stick and just go. You yeah, get man, over there. If you got a woman, there. man, they want to go so romantic. Man, take the ass to the lake, man. That's you know it. what I'm saying? So, I did not you know tell what you where I said I want to go. Yeah, he been telling me let's get a cabin or something. We got to get a cabin or something on the weekend and like, go fishing, man. my people man. in East Texas down there in, uh, like, Palestine, Palestine. Palestine. Take them to Lake Palestine. Jacksonville, Lake Shore. I Shrekle. love to fish. Right, I love Patman. to go out there. Yeah. Uh, uh, down there at uh, B&B on Cato Lake. Yeah. I'm on them ones. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Dope Boy Lake down there. Oh, yeah, we keep going. Real time. I just gotta, gotta, I gotta have my water boots on because I am not gonna get bit by no wa water moccasins. They don't have water. You'll see them before they see you. Yeah, they don't yeah. have water. Have you ever gotten bit by one? No. 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 Thanks for that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I see a snake party. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's time to go. Yeah, we see that thing right there. We moving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My great He's mad. You better make that snake more like man. That nigga crazy. Like y'all got crocodiles We like to shoot too, them snakes. We like to yeah. shoot them. Yeah. Yeah. We like to shoot them in the water, and the next day they'll come up to the top. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The next day? Why the next yeah. day? I guess I'd be. Have you ever seen a crocodile while you fishing? Well, I am one. She ain't nothing gonna come near me. <laughs> I am the croc. <laughs> I just nah, but I never seen one. I, I, I definitely seen. Uh, you talking about an uh, alligator? Alligator. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Crocodile nah, ain't nah, nah, yeah. yeah, we see alligator, alligator yeah. crocodile. They look the same they way do. to me. They do. I feel the same Shoot. way. But I think crocs <laughs> get bigger, don't you? Yeah, they yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been down there on B and B and uh, down on Cattle Lake. We got plenty of them down there. Back in the day, we used to go see them. We that's what we go to see. <clears throat> man, now let's talk. Let's get back to this comedy, man. How did you and Kevin Hart start linking up? How, how you know this nigga? Uh, man? Just a friend of mine that's cool with Kev and cool with Kev uh, manager. I was in Vegas at the time, and I was like, hey, Dub, uh, talk to Kel Manager. He said, hey, I all love you, Kel love you. Pull up to the show, uh, you know, backstage access, whatever. So, me and, you know, nappy nigga wire her. We pull up. I see a couple familiar faces. They all screaming my skits and this and that. Oh, man, finally get to meet you. Uh, Kel will be out in a minute. Kel came out in a minute. So, it's laughing when he seen me, like, bro, like, you doing your thing. I'm proud of you, this and that. And I just basically told him, bro, you know, I'm, you know, people say you can go. I want to see why. And I, I'm going to go watch you on do stand-up. And he said, do that and critique me. Let me know what you think. So I went and watched him do his thing, bro. And he come off stage. I told him some things that I seen that he was doing that helps him. And he's like, oh, yeah, you watching. You you see. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. yeah. It's like what I learned about people, like I'm the headliner, right? And I want other comedians who are following headliners to realize one thing. Most of the time, the people are not there for you. Yeah. They're going to fucking headline them. So if you hear them say, hey, hurry up and get off stage, don't let that bother you. Just do your stuff, man. Do your material, man. I seen, I ain't going to say no name, but somebody at that show was messing with Kev people. Like, man, get off stage. We're here for Kevin. Damn. Yeah. Did they get off? You know, they, try, they tried to make a joke out of it, but nah. it's, it's it didn't tough. work. How, okay, you basically mm -hmm. went down there to Shreveport. You know, I don't know what y'all did to Hurricane Chris, but I did post on it. But you, we went. <laughs> uh, we went <laughs> you and Fifty Cent. I just met up with Fifty Cent over there. With, he got them damn liquor balls. Mm -hmm. uh, but you and Fifty Cent, he calls you. I seen you on the live. Y'all do your thing. I loved it seeing the. Camp. I'm proud. You know, I'm like my boy. You know what I'm saying? You know, I called you. I was like, yeah, yeah, nigga, you on there with Fifty, nigga. But that's a long time overdue. Remember. He put mm -hmm. me on pop smoke. That's right. And I ain't that's never right. talked to him ever. You talked about it on the show, never, on this show. Never chopped it up with him. And that's good. So how was it like when y'all first started talking? Well, I'll tell you one thing, and people can learn this from me and anybody else. When he put me on that pop smoke album, I never bashed him. 
Never talk down. Whole ass nigga, I ain't got my money. I ain't never do nothing that about him ever. Really? Yeah. Sometimes people put you to a test just to see how you gonna be That's and true. how you react through certain shit. And linking up with him, bro, has been one of the best things for me because not it was just linking up for a comedy show. Fifty really believe in me. Top of the year, we finna we finna put some shows together and some movies together. Like he really believe in my talent. Wow. So I'm finna start taking some acting classes now. So I don't want to take them when I get there. I That's want to be already in the in the groove of right. the shit and just be ready to take off. But fifty, uh, man, they check on me like every two weeks. Man, like we finna go to a football game. Here's some meeting fifty, just trying to bond and shit. That's man, I like take it, that. Take man. it to another level. But yeah. he was telling people down there about me, and they wasn't. You know, they got their own comedians who they yeah, think gonna rock the stage crazy, yeah. and this and that. Ah, oh, we gonna see. And when I went there and ripped that motherfucker, 50, I see, I, I seen I it. I see you when y'all was talking. Was going crazy, like it was, mm -hmm. it was, it was a great fit. Like you got to think, Dave Chappelle, uh, Cat Williams. I got to go in his room and, and chop it up with him. It's hard. Uh, Matt Strife, the white boy, yeah, cold. yeah, yeah. Ooh, he cold. Uh, some heavy hitters on there. Did anybody give you a side eye because? Um, you were preferred by 50, so to say? I ain't gonna say nobody gave me that side eye, but I walked out of there with the most respect I ever had before I walked in there. That's good. Cause well, you, you gotta, hit that stage, you killed it, didn't you? I knew, you know, I love you, my I boy. I wore a suit. But I know when you hit I that, that, I wore a I suit. My that. nigga look like Martin Luther King in that motherfucker. I wore a suit, suit bro. My nigga look good, bro. I was like, like everybody else didn't wear a suit. Some say wear a suit. Like, you ain't supposed to be here. We'll make them remember you. Yep. So you know most comedians before you go on stage, sometimes they be relaxed, man. I'm gonna go out here and do eight minutes and come on off stage. They trying to like, what you gonna I ain't saying nothing. Like niggas try to get you out that mode, not to go hard mode. Nah, nigga, you finna get this. Ooh. And I just went out there and it just exploded, man. Just natural. Just oh, I went so hard the producers, like they do the lights and shit, they come up shaking my hand, like, God damn. You no know you nigga with it. Yeah. And just a great feeling, man, to be around my peers, people yeah. who done been before me, done it before me, set the bar so high to go and be on the same stage as them. It's, it's just great, man. I would all die, though. Boy, it's, everything go to God, but I, I wouldn't expect nothing else because you put that work in. Yeah, I watched them shows, you know what I'm saying? I, I seen you, you know what I'm saying? Like, all this time you've been working, and if you plant them seeds, man, God gonna for yeah. sure give you a harvest, plant you know what I'm saying? Definitely gonna harvest. So you've been, man, man you've been working. But the only thing is, now, it's not the only thing is, now, it's like when you, when you meet someone organically and they see you at certain high places now, Oh man, they done sold his soul, man. They yeah, they, yeah, Illuminati. yeah. I'm yeah. gonna ask you that, yeah. like, uh, you know, that Illuminati thing is something that you got. Once you take so much, you know, <laughs> you, you got approached yet? It's a, yeah, you know, did you go did through you the get door? Approach yet? Did you hang out that party? I ain't got approached by did nobody, you? bro. <laughs> JB, I'm asking him. You know, I'm gonna be watching you because you my boy. If I see anything fishy, I'm coming to get you. You ain't got to worry about that. I ain't got approached by nobody, man. <laughs> I, I do think it's real. You do? But I haven't got approached by nobody, man. Wow. Would you, you accept it if you did? What you mean? Accept what? To be a part of the Illuminati. What's a part? What, what we is the Illuminati? We don't even know. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know what it is. Because people be talking about you selling your soul and you just and that. No, my soul belongs to God. Come so on, if, man. If that's a part of it, then I, I they won't. They're going to have to have some I, God, I, God I in I it. I won't be able to be a part of it. If it having to do with me sleeping with, uh, with the same sex as me, I won't be able to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, if he requires and, you know, doing other things, like going out speaking to kids, uh, helping them, um, showing them my journey, and, you know, I want to be able to go to the hospital to people, children with cancers and help them. That's real. The parents who driving back and forth don't have the money to do it. I want to better have my money go directly to those people because times is bad out here. Uh, but y'all done went up from 40 to 70. And then, you know, people got to make and gas going up. Mm -hmm. So you don't know if you want to get gas or some ass. It's a decision you got to make. And lately, I've been choosing ass. I just brother just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got to I gotta ask you this. Because um, since, we've, since we've been interviewing a lot of comedians, I realize there, there's normally a certain way that you're supposed to rise up in the comedian world. Uh -oh. And normally, whenever you're starting out, you start out as you know the not a feature, but you know correct. You gotta work the your way feature, up. not a headliner. You work your way up. And you work your way up, but then for you, when I see you on your journey, I've never seen you open for anybody. I have. Who? I used to open for a lot. Of, I don't <clears throat> say a lot of people, but I open for people, man. I Who open have for, you uh, opened for? Uh, uh, nephew Tommy. Oh, really? 
Okay. Well, I was like the feature, really, but I open for him. I still open. I no matter if I go before you, that's right. Open. That's no matter how I look, I don't look at it as a feature, feature or opener. Say no, he just open for the for fifty of them showdown. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Third in line. I think that's what, I, and but but then you gotta understand that he did get a boost because of the internet, and you came you came strong with a with, with a with a people mm-hmm. was already following mm-hmm. you already mm-hmm. a pre made crowd that you worked for already. Correct. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. But they didn't have that back in the day because the internet wasn't like it is. Because I'm trying to see what's the difference <clears throat> in a comedian's career. How does Listen the di- how does it? Differ? Everybody's not gonna be a headliner, baby. It's gonna be some fire ass host. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a fire-ass feature. Everybody can't be a headliner, man. That's a gift. And that's okay if you're never a headliner. That's okay. Be a fire-ass Hall of Fame feature. Yep. Be a Hall of Fame host. Hang on last Steve Harvey mastered it. Yeah. yeah, host, host, what? absolutely. Yeah. Steve Harvey he, close, he couldn't close like Bernie. They wanted him to, but, he was, but God wanted him to be a host. That's all I'm saying. And he cold That's at what it. I'm saying. You seen him on Apollo. Yeah. You see, you can tell it's yeah, this shit is a man. Yeah. Yeah. This was who he was. He a host. But sometimes but all he, those people. And he made more have, money than him. So a lot more than that. Dope <laughs> host. Yeah. Dope host. Martin is a dope host for sure. You know Def Comedy people, Jam. But you have some people out there, even although that's their talent, they look at the headliner and feel like, just like reality, people look at the other person and be like, man, Everybody I can't be that. Tom Brady, baby. Yeah, no. Everybody but they can't want be to. MJ. Everybody can't be Deion Sanders. Let's okay. stop playing. No, Must sir. be. Prime no. time. Prime time. Got a whole rap yeah. song. Ain't no nigga really did it like him. Yeah. I mean, everybody, so. everybody different. Mm-hmm. Everybody got their own path, man. I want to ask you. As you talk about Deion Sanders, ask him about that. You just went over there to the game again. Yeah, yeah. Man, you be you you go hard for for Colorado. I got man. to, man. I'm on, I want to say this on air. It ain't that I'm just going for, hard for Coach Prime because he in that position. He needs us the most. But I'm doing the same thing for Eddie George. I'm going to pull up to him to the HBCUs and pull up to him, Tennessee State, where he at, and help him as well. Put the That's spotlight right. on him and his mm-hmm. players as well. It ain't all about Coach Prime, man. Wow, I want to help, you wanna help any brother. Any brother. They allow me. To come Definitely. to the college and, and help with these players. I'm trying to get in contact with the Texas Longhorn. I'm from Texas. I would love to go to the Texas Longhorn. I got fans out there and and, and, and rock with those That's people. Right. Does it matter if the team is a good team or a I bad team? I don't give team? a damn, man. I wasn't okay. always good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I come from I come from I come from good, I come from good seeds, baby. Right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me ask you something, man. You went down to Arkansas a long, long, long time ago, mm-hmm. and I was told that it was some wings. Down there, <laughs> mm-hmm. and I was told a story about these wings. That these wings was trill talk. No pill talk told me about these wings. What oh, the hell is these my, wings? Man, I'm gonna tell you something. Was it magical wings? I'm gonna tell you something. What brother. the hell was going on? I'm gonna tell you something. I tell the world. I went down there and did a show. It's probably about four or five years ago, bro. My brother trill talk pulled up on me, bro. Like just him and his girl. I think they just got together too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> they just got together and they pulled up. And when I tell you, it wasn't nobody but me, him, and her at that show. <laughs> and I performed like it was 50 people at that show. Come on now. And Trill Talk said, God damn, bro. You ain't give a damn about it. Wasn't nobody here. You <laughs> you went in, nigga. And God, and I ain't had no money to get down there either. I had like $30 to get down there. And I was supposed to be getting $100. I drove three Damn, hours. For the hundred. For the honcho. I didn't, for the honcho. I didn't curl, man. I just. And I heard they didn't give you the back end. They didn't. What? They didn't. But that chicken, oh my God. <laughs> What's the name of the place? Do y'all remember? It wasn't remember? no place, but me and Trill Talk got off. <laughs> <laughs> I got full. I ain't got no hungry, but I was full here and hungry. I bet you that, man. But that that showed me something about me, though, man. I was like, man, ain't nobody here. Most of me, man, I ain't performing. Ain't nobody here, man. It's a waste of time. But I didn't care, man. I just wanted to get on stage, man, because I knew one day that one person was gonna turn to thousands. Mm-hmm. Here yeah. we are. Look at look at it. Look where it's man. at today. See, so I'm, I'm standing in line, nigga. Like I'm there, and nigga. Another thing I'm learning, man, and y'all learning it too. Everybody ain't gonna like you, man. Hell yeah. no. You yeah. can't please no niggas. No, man. you can't please them. You gotta. You keep gonna going. get people how he funny. Then you gonna get some people. He trying yeah, too hard. Yeah. yeah, I'm not even trying, man. No. I'm just being me. I'm yeah. just yeah. being regular, man. Nah, but you killing it though. I don't give a damn what you say. I will be watching, nigga. I'm watching everything you do, nigga. When I see the night, I say, oh yeah, yeah, that nigga gone. It's that nigga done left me, nigga. What the hell going on? That nigga you, gone, man. my nigga. Where they need to come see me? Yeah. I gotta ask you. Yeah, 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 you yeah, gotta yeah. come see me. I see you wearing that prize picks, and I see the commercials all over the TV, and I see oh. all these different people. People in these commercials. Am I going to see you in a commercial? What? what? You going to see what? <laughs> <laughs> this month. Yeah. 
Oh, for real? Me and Big X the plug. I what? Y'all Dang. stay tuned. Shout out Big X. We did that about a month ago. That's all. Hey, 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 wow. Nah, this is going to be the one. It's going to be the best commercial yeah, it's ever. it's going to be the best commercial prospect ever put together. I can't wait I to see it. I promise you that. This is going to hit. Because I gonna see you hit. wearing I'm like, are you going to be in the commercials? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what? matter of fact, man, y'all go and download prize picks, by the way. Right man, now. use my promo code, trash with the two H's, man. man. Have got, you done it? I got to get y'all linked up, huh? Yeah, you, come on, man. Have you used them? Who? Prize picks. Really? You're part of it. I know oh, you're part man. of it. Yeah, people be a part of it and still don't ever use oh, them. Oh, no, I use them. He came up big in D.C. one time, turned up in the restaurant. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I'm going to be real. I won't be where I'm at. Won't be for prize picks. Wow, wow! I I just throw this out there, free game, man. Not not now the bag different now, but when I first started out, just saying prize picks, they were giving me ten th- ten thousand a month. Mm. Just for saying it. Yeah, just getting people to come over. They were giving me ten thousand for that. Because I mean, dope. I see a lot of people talking about a lot of people right. trying to get people. Shout out to Funky Marco, man. Yeah. Shout out to Funky Marco. He, you know, he got him in contact with me. That's all. And, um, we, we we went from there. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, I'll do it. You know, I was trying to like, man, I'll do it for two or three thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, nah, we finna set you up month and month. You do this and that. How about 10,000? How that sound? <laughs> <laughs> what? I just stuck a nerve. Like, okay, I got to grind. I got to grind. I got to get my pie. They do this. This, this wasn't even no podcast agreement. That's right. They just skits. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm gonna come back with my podcast, goddamn, <laughs> and I did. You killing it too, Shit. man. You killing it. Ain't no damn way. I know y'all want to know how much they gave me. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to ask you, man. Like LeBron James, Brony, what's going on with the Lakers? Man, man? father and son duo. I love it, bro. Okay, like, well, how we look? How we looking? How in we history, looking? right? That's the first ever father yeah, and son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Basketball. I'm a yeah. Laker fan. You know, I always say Lakers in six, but uh, we ain't gonna do a damn thing. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm gonna be a shit show. <laughs> no, don't say Y'all that. Come in but with if it, I'm Bron and he actually get to play, pick and roll the whole game, me and Bronny. I'm yeah, not but, throwing the ball with nobody but you. We had before. First nigga bump my yard. son, I'm fighting. That's <laughs> 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 my son, man. You ain't gonna be elbowing Junior like that. I'm the only one who can do that. He got a man. I'm over the court. I'm daddy. That's real, man. I love to see that, though, man. Like, they receive so much hate and flack for that. Oh, he got his son on the team. That's what a father's supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Like they do it in all the sports. They do yeah. it in all the sports like all the time. Doing the, you do the it almost when they die, they pass it down to their mm-hmm. daughters and sons. Yeah. Jimmy Bus, yeah, yeah, from a father, yeah. No, Doctor Bus on the team. Now mm-hmm. she got it. Like that's, that's what she's supposed to do is pass it down. That's hard. Man. That's hard. Even if you know, so what? That's my son. No, and no, and they try to get mad about it a little bit. People's talking, but they're gonna talk anyway. Let them talk. Let them talk. I just want to, you know, you, you got to think about it, man. You seen everything that's happening now. You came out forty years. You come out here in that hole. Well, it's niggas now populated for getting on the stand. You know, oh, man, you got the, the 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 young thug trial, but you also you see, did you see that? Uh, you see Cornelius? Them Cornelius yeah. set the tone. Did you see, first that? Day? <laughs> Did you yeah. see Cornelius yeah. man on that damn dog trial? Great drop, man. Come on, bro. You know that shit. They got us. That nigga yeah. told everything. He told too. What? Pose too. <laughs> what the hell? Boy, hey, what's, what's hard in that cell? Say, man, he told, he said, man, I'm telling he everything. He scared. They asked him, they say the lawyer, they were like, did the lawyer, did the lawyer get 50,000 from uh, CMG? He was like, yeah. Like, what the hell? Yeah, that boy agreed boy, to Boy, that nigga was in that old man. And he said, I didn't get the money in my hand. I said, mm. wait a minute. Stewhead, bird, bird brain. <laughs> You gonna go and kill an icon? Anybody? How much? Eight hundred dollars, fam. He was on pills. Two McDonald's shit. Mm-mm-mm. You gonna go kill a dog for that, bro? That's horrible. Come on. He said he didn't even know him. Mm-mm. So I'm doing a mission on a guy I don't even know. Never heard of him. No, he heard. He of heard him. of him. Oh, he didn't he know him. him. Okay. He ain't know him. You gonna go and take this man's life for a hundred thousand? It's not even. Come on, bro. Ain't no, it ain't worth it, bro. And then when they get sent us, the next day you see tweets come out. Like, I'm hard, nigga. I'm like, this yeah, shit crazy, that. bro. It's the world we live in, bro. bro and, but, how you get a phone to tweet like this the next and day? And believe it or not, what Stray dropped in with some whole ass shit is people who love him. They want That nigga didn't talk. Real nigga. Stand up nigga. Mm-mm. It's the world we live in, bro. That's crazy. The villains bro. will be celebrated. Yep. That's crazy, man. You know, took Dolph not only from his girl and kids, his but kids. Just, he took care of so many people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. And people been dying behind Dolph. Let's just be honest about it. Oh, they've been going crazy. They've they been sliding they stop. behind they him. Stop. They slide and still slide. Still so. slide. Nigga, I be careful. I don't even go to Memphis. I used to go to Memphis all the time. Only way I'm going, like, I'll go down there and do boss talk. 
I, I'm gonna go, but damn, man, like they going. <laughs> See, not go to Memphis. I go to German town. Yeah, See, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go straight. To, I'm going to the nicest hotel you can ever find Peabody. in your life. To the Peabody yeah. with the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas ain't going no, to the Peabody doing all that bullshit. No. They ain't playing with them niggas. That would say people don't know that's that. Real talk. Them niggas ain't Do even doing nothing to Peabody. I know they ain't playing that's, over that's there. Off limits. <laughs> That's what Martin Luther King should have been staying at the Peabody. And you been still alive. <laughs> what the touch right. you? Nobody even gonna let you touch them ducks. I know you gonna like this nigga, but look at him. You ain't gonna do that him. No, sir. You ain't gonna do that him. crazy, man. I'm telling you right now, when I see this stuff today, I'm like, damn, I'm like, Thug, I don't know if he he ain't he big thug. Shit, he ain't young thug, big thug. Big thug, cause he done gained weight. That nigga done yeah. gained weight in there. He coming home though. You, I think so too. Everybody bro. been saying that. Coming, I heard the judge just stupid. walked out, say she finna throw this over. Try ridiculous, ridiculous, man. man. He need to come home, man. He need to come home, bro, cause it's a lot of ignorance. And he though. better than me being in that position. Who he is, I wouldn't, have, I couldn't have been in there that long. Just no. being real, huh? It's tough. I'd have been tough. No, it ain't been easy, man. Bring me a coke. <laughs> hey, hey, real food in a long time too, man. Bring me shit. Bring me some on one of those Wagyu steaks. <laughs> what, what shit? You gotta change your whole. I gotta change it every time. <laughs> Look, man, I ain't you. This lie, this lie, show me. me. <laughs> I just got the money. If I don't give it to them, the niggas will kill me. I start putting bodies on everybody. <laughs> Man, and then you heard this song. You gotta listen to the lyrics. What it say? And that's why I would told people not to came on. If it ain't about the money, yeah. <laughs> don't be calling me up. Yeah. Don't be yeah. calling me up. Nigga man. crazy sitting in there two, three years. Man. I'm a real nigga. You a fool? Mm. Man, so, coming man, home. Where is this show at? It's in Addison. It's in Addison Improv. Addison, Texas, at the Improv. Man, we going shows. down. We two man. tomorrow, two Get Saturday, it. one Sunday. Man. But it's y'all got the, almost hey, sold out, so we might be. Y'all better load. come on. Y'all, hey, y'all better come on, man. It's going down. I'm going. Be there. They late to the train. That's okay. Yeah. It's a lot of people been late, they man. Do. I didn't. Man, I ain't. I, man, I just thought you was the internet dude. That's cool. But when they coming over, they say, man, I went down to the Tampa. I went to St. Petersburg. Went to St. Petersburg. Mm -hmm. Nothing but nickels. Uh, I was surprised when I pulled up because it was a little drizzling out there. I'm like, man, gonna be nobody out there. I pull up, man, with four hundred people out there. Mm. Right? Four hundred people. I went out there and gave gave them the business. When I tell you, after my show. Everybody that was in attendance came up there on stage and saluted me. Everybody. Wow. Wow. Melted my heart, man. I feel like, damn, that's what's up, man. Awesome. So Ooh. it gets, it just goes to show you, man, hard work. Uh, not listening to the outsiders. Mm -hmm. uh, man, because the outside talk can get to you. Sometimes the money could get to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you good? You ain't, you you ain't got to get no belt. You great just the way you is. No, you ain't got to get no belt. You set for life or some shit. No, I'm not. Has the ego got in your way yet? Never. I'll never let ego pride get in the way of me making money. Because everybody, everybody at one point or other, even if it's for a split second, that ego get in your way somehow. I never let it stop me from doing anything. I just told you, I opened up, I opened up for Country Wine. That's real. I opened up for Desi Banks. But I feel like I'm better than both of them. They supposed to. They guess the attitude we have, and I know they feel the same way. But they're my brothers. Mm -hmm. I open up for both of them brothers, man. Mm -hmm. Anybody. Yeah. As long as I'm getting what I'm supposed to get, I open up for them. I don't care. Because yeah. Country Wang is dope. Dizzy is dope. Like, that's I don't be like, I'm just talking about that's the mentality you got to have as right. a nigga, that you better than anybody or just not just equal. Yep. It's up to the people. But at the end of the day, if Dizzy called me, hey, bro, I need you to open up for me. Absolutely. I'm going to kill that motherfucker. He better be ready. <laughs> I ain't holding nothing back. You, you, you better, better be ready. ready. You better come on with yeah, it. And that's the way it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to make Dizzy better. He's supposed to make me better. Whoever you with, I'm supposed to make JB better. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. He been with me all this line, all this time. He done got great. Oh, he cold. Cold. He better be. <laughs> my fans will let you know. Man, they don't play. So, I know this is election year. Okay. Who you voting for? Let me tell y'all some oh, shit. And I'm going to tell the world this, man. I missed out on a bag. What? Kamala Harris reached out to me. No. And I turned it down because I didn't want to be in politics. You know, I just me, I don't want to do all that. And then some say, you dumbass, nigga, you should have asked how much they were trying to give. Mm. 75,000. What? And you didn't? Well, I whooped my own ass out of five <laughs> what they were trying to give me. Uh, uh, I, told, I called them back and do it. I won't endorse. <laughs> <laughs> man, you I'm wow. mad, man. You, you should have done it. It's my fault, karma. I know Charlemagne done it. He uh -huh. endorsing them. Yeah, He's I heard they him. getting the bag. You can tell. I know how the show goes. It's like, oh damn, they talking good. A lot of she. I mean, 
They get some I money. I would say she's <laughs> smart because if you notice that you have a lot of black males who are standing up on social media and saying, I'm voting. But it's the for white that. people just putting the money behind them. White men putting it's the money right. behind them. Mm-hmm. But because you know they go on tour and like, hey, we, we get you in there. We need X, Y, and Z. And that gets right. how it goes. In That's the way the game goes. And that's the same way Trump look out for his people yeah, too. Yeah, the, yeah. The billionaires and shit like that. But I'm going to be honest with y'all because people always look at us black people and think you only got to be black to be a nigga. No, it's it's white niggas. Mm-hmm. Trump for a show. For a show. Trump has showed you he a nigga. Mm-hmm. Trump, what if such and such happen? Stand down and stand by. That means sit back and be relaxed, goddamn. Some jump off, y'all go get it. <laughs> That's nigga talk. <laughs> Trump, that nigga is wild I can tell you that but and freaky I, he freaky too I grab him by the coochie nasty man. some of them <laughs> do you think man. he had been to one of them P. Diddy parties <laughs> like, oh, we don't Trump. know he only stole from him Diddy came from him Diddy was Diddy only got what he did from his peers he only got from people he seen do it before him but you know who gonna turn their back got, on him quick who his mentor who brought him in the game Clyde Davis. Davis. Mm-hmm. He turned it to Clyde. It. Yeah, Do you know I saw it. Clyde Davis. I know. Like, he ain't uh, blind. <laughs> Clyde say he too old, go to jail. Yeah, I don't know that nigga. He out of there. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot of people that took off. I, I, I got a like the other day on your post. Your post was liked by uh, uh, Russell. Russell Simmons liked your post. Hey, Russell, don't be liking my shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was out, he out of the country, he, and he liked your post. I said, damn, Russell, what did Russell Simmons on my other page, my yeah. fan page? What is Russell Simmons doing on my page? I look, see, it's Bubba dude. I said, what is this nigga doing? Ain't he out the country? What did they take his phone? He like your content. Russell, he, real nigga. Nah, don't get it twisted. No matter how much money he got and been out the way, he, yeah. he different. That nigga be doing yoga. But the yeah. cold part oh, is Aladdin yeah. rugs. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the cold different. part, it was the one you did on Diddy. Yeah, nigga, I always look, look, When you said, take, take that, take that, take that. And I he saw know all shit. about it. Oh, he stole oh, it. Yeah. They say he got it from him. They say Diddy learned from Russell. Allegedly. 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 The party. Yes. Ain't nothing new under the sun. Do you think Diddy should have took off? I think Diddy, I said it. <laughs> Diddy should have been in Bali. Right now with Russell on the other side of the island. Yeah. Living life. He thought that he couldn't get convicted. Ego and pride. We just talked about it. Yeah, he should have left. He probably feel he got too much stuff on people that he's like, oh, I'm No, good. he got some tapes. No, he got some tapes. That's but what they didn't find. No, they couldn't find. He got them here. He got them here. They didn't find them tapes, bro. They was going to raid him to get the tapes from the politicians. Yeah, really here. So they could, and they don't know where at. That's why they keep doing this smear pan, uh, campaign on him right now. Now you're coming out saying he messed with underage people. Mm-hmm. If that was the case, y'all said that the first, first time when y'all got him. That's what I see. So it's all bullshit and propaganda like on Diddy. And, and that rumor came out that he was trying to, he was suicidal. He Remember cleared when, that up. No, he, he, no up. he did the right thing. Fuck you. Yeah, he y'all, did the right thing saying that. talking about Diddy and I'm trying to take Jerry Jackson on a date, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, let me ask you about, oh, uh, man, Zero, zero. That's your boy, that's man. Like, guy, man. like how you and him, y'all, how y'all link? How got? Cause you didn't mention your uh, song big, and everything. I didn't like, know. Roll a big fan of mine, bro. You know, you we grow up listening to these hip hop icons, screw up, click, and you not knowing that they they rock with you, bro. And I just you know reached out to him one time, like you know, I like man, I just mentioned like, bro, I gotta be in the video one day. I still ain't been in one yet. Like absolutely. And then he hit me up, say, bro, I need some promo. Um. Like, okay, yeah, what you gonna charge me? I'm like, for you, nothing really. He's like, nah, I'm gonna give you some. And man, we just be chopping up in the. He gave me his number. I call him sometime. I go to his crib, kick it. He man, be, he that nigga like, get on boss come, talk. He met me and my he be wife. He probably was to eating drink with him, but right. I don't do it. I be just be chilling. How you like me? I'm hard, man. Kiki, too. He invited. That's I, my I boy there now. Kiki, on Kiki yeah. man. Dude, me and Kiki go, man. Kiki, me and Kiki gonna get down. I love That's Kiki. my boy Kiki, Kiki, Kiki give me them talks, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you the first comedian to have your own weed strand? Or are there other comedians that nah, had their Snoop own? No, nah, oh, yeah, Snoop, Snoop ain't no comedian. Yeah, he ain't no nah. comedian. Mike Hibbs, I think Mike Hibbs had, Mike had one before me. Before you. Oh, okay. Let's talk about that. I can't that, understand man. how you ain't brought me none. Damn. I got some on me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, I got something on. So, so th- just just tell me a little bit about what made you just push for the weed strand to try. I ain't even strand. push for it, man. Why are her doing, man? That's why are <laughs> why are why smoke I like got a, a broke debut stole. this weekend? Y'all need to come see why, why I smoke like a we broke got to see stole. Why I wasn't even smoking, man. 
I was smoking weed, man. I, don't, I wasn't into smoking you weed. You know what? When I first met you, I you wasn't smoking, smoking no weed and no. stuff. I know you wasn't. Yeah, that shit, man. I said, they done turned my boy. I mm. got him on this damn nah, trash. Nah. Because when I started, you know, before I started smoking weed, I would have a nine to five job. So you had to stay I clean. Remember because you worked over there by Little Field? Yeah, yeah. What, what does what, it do what, for you? Weed now it relaxes me, especially my strand that I got. It's an upper. So it gets me going. It gets oh. me oh. energetic. Get, so. Just get me thoughts. Yeah, I was about to say, it shouldn't relax you because. When you're off air, you are already a relaxed, chill person, so yeah. you don't need nothing that's gonna make it you nah, more chill. No, nah, I'm just uh, this right here's an upper. It it, upper. it it takes me to uh to what tuna fish two way for the dolphin the quarterback. I'm in Jupiter. Mm. <laughs> I ain't lying. I got some shit. You'll see. You got some. I got some shit for you. And I'm talking about it tastes good. It, it the high lasts by five six hours. Yeah. Wow. You know, ain't, ain't, it's straight. It's straight pressure. It's pressure. Mm. It's straight pressure. And what's it called? Uh, this ain't trash. This ain't trash. This yeah. ain't and where trash. can they find it? You can get it in L.A. at Jokes Is Up Dispensary. You can even order it. They'll hmm. send it to you. Oh wow! Everything's legit. So, so if I wanted, if I had a, a, a like my boy Freeway got a spot out there, if I wanted yeah. to get it in there, how? Yeah, yeah, you can get it in there. Yeah, shout out to Free man. That's my boy. Yeah, oh, Free with Freeway. Yeah, he definitely yeah. he got that. You, have you been to his spot? No, but he didn't. He didn't, he didn't tell me what. It's it was. dope. I went over there, man. Did a whole recording of that thing. Man, that boy, I do that, not that boy. That man was making so much money at one point in time, man. Man, everything's just a little bit to him now. That's how I'm, <laughs> <laughs> everything just a little bit to him. He said, man, you know I ain't. I had that I had this They did me on this I'm like this nigga rich man Go on yeah. Cause he don't know What it is to be po yeah. No, nah, he don't He don't know nothing About no damn Everybody will ask me The question man Who was the biggest Him or BMF Or Frank Lucas that He was, was like, independent He was by himself He was by himself But he had everybody yeah, But he had, he kept it separated So he could keep A distinct look Is the way yeah. You know when I started Looking into it yeah. yeah but at the end Of the day man um, You know we know this Uh you ain't gotta sell dope to have money no more. Not no more. Mm-hmm. Not no more. This podcast a new dope game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just you know what I'm saying. You just gotta keep putting a straight drop pushing. out there. You putting a good dope out there. I call it the positive good dope. <laughs> it's gonna take care of itself. I promise you. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Now everybody sure. can't do it. Yeah, be consistent. It's a lot of yeah, and it's a lot of people already watching this show, and I respect everybody the crowd. Uh, it's a lot of rappers doing their thing. Some ain't. Some of you rappers ain't just ain't going nowhere. Go on and get your motherfucking CDL. And, and, and get you by four or five trucks, Holly Brewster. Get, and, 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 get, and, and get this money, man. Like, I'm being honest. Because yeah. I'm going to get in the truck. I'm going to get my next truck next week. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, I'm going to get in the truck. But that's what I'm saying. Like, people be sitting around my route. Man, fam, your mama your mama tired of taking care of your fam. Let it go. Go on. You got a little money. You got 20, 30,000. Go on, get your truck and get on the road and get your CDL and, 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 and you know, start your business. Cause yeah. some of that rap shit ain't working, bro. Mm-hmm. And like you just wasting money going to the studio, bro. That shit ain't hitting. It ain't hitting. It ain't, it ain't hitting, ain't bro. I'm, I'm just being honest. It's not hitting. No. Somebody you in your camp got to be able to tell you, bro. And you're right. Like, you're right. <laughs> Invest in somebody. No, right. It might not rap. It might not be for you. You're right. right. You might can rap, but you might can be a writer. You can wait, make money behind the scenes. Go on and get your CDL, fam. Go on up to see your England. You know what I'm saying? Like I did five, six years yeah, ago. Yeah. Used them and got my CDL. I know you're telling the truth. And quit. I did. I went and got my CDL. Quit on them. When I called home, my girl said, your, your, your license here. I'm coming home. Mm, <laughs> that's all you want. I was in Utah. I got my CDL. That's they lying, saying you owe $10,000. <laughs> oh, shit, get it back in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact you're talking about rappers. I wanted to know your top three trash rappers wow. of all time. Man, I can't say trash, man, because... Man, I don't want to never know nobody tough. talent, man. Yeah. I can't say trash rappers. I can't. I can't do. I don't want to disrespect nobody like that. Yeah, see, that's a trio talk, okay. no pill talk yeah, that, question. That was his yeah, question. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't gonna I, ask I that one. I can't. Yeah, okay. talk, I knew he wasn't gonna answer. The way yeah. how you be talking about people in in sports. But this is a little bit more. Three? No, it's okay. more personal. Ain't yeah. it? No, it ain't. It's, it's kind of the same. But but them niggas more sensitive, bro. Trash. But you could go all the way back because it was still. Some, Sip the shot. <laughs> Whoa, no, you ain't. No, you ain't. You know that's my nigga. You know that's my nigga, man. You wrong for that. Yeah. You see that, man? Why you gonna He knew to do that, man. Land, field. Land, field. Land, field. Yeah. Who the hell is that? Yeah. That's what he is. Land, field. No, land, field. 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 There you go. Now that's your error. Don't you never talk about self. Okay, who else? Uh, uh, I'm gonna shock the world with this one. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be messy because I, you know, I like to be messy and, and, and get people riled up. Uh, uh, 
Big Daddy Kane. <laughs> oh, no, bro. You do no, you did Trey not. Trey too young, man. No, you did not. Trey yes. too young. You can't say that. know it. Bro, you was a baby. No, we were, you wasn't even born. Yeah, you trash. Nigga, you were not born. Name one song right bro. now. Bro. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. trying to dance first. Everybody listen to that shit. I got the dance that first. That shit gets no play in my ride. Oh, that shit. It gets no play. The Vapors is one song. That shit weak and well. Man, don't do that, man. Big Marky dead, nigga. Man, that ain't the same person. Yeah, but he still be with him. That's his home, boy. I mean, you don't know nothing about him. Bismar huh? Bismarck keep vaping. God, what I need. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, man. Yeah, man. Damn, yeah. Man. That nigga no, I love Big Daddy Cat. I'm just joking. There you go. I you know, know you did, joking. man. You know I'm just that joking. Nigga, that, and that nigga start dancing and shit with them goddamn uh, cuts in his eyebrows. You yeah. niggas don't know about Big Daddy. Y'all too young. Oh, shit. Y'all niggas young. I ain't too young. You got to go let me You know I'm not lying about Silk, man. Boy, dog. You know he is. Man, come on, man. You ain't never listened to it, man. You listen to it. You too young, bro. Man, come on. I'm not going to do this with you. Man, yeah, come on, oh, man, man boy, you don't shit. even know nothing about the homies or none of these songs that they did, bro. Man. Play up from the South Tech. You don't know nothing Steve, about Steve, that. Steve, you don't know nothing trash. about that. You know, the only song you gonna know is stuff with Six Nine and uh, let me see who else. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne, Love Master, Love Master P. P. Death, Love is Hustle. That's hustled. my nigga, man. Love is Hustle. He know goddamn well Silk Man, rap. Silk was rapping, dog. Yeah, he got more rolling. platinum than most of your niggas that you like. You know, yeah, he, he a platinum P album. Because P bowled him. No, he ain't bowled him. Them niggas were putting that shit out. Man, don't say that. No, 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 no. I'm a No Limit fan, dog. That's who I rock with. I'm an old nigga. So I remember the Ice Cream Man. I love P, man. But Silk ain't what it do. Silk ain't what it do, dog. Wow, man. I can't believe you said Silk. You're out talking about my boy. Man, to the fans that's watching this show, I got no. I'm a silk fan. No limit. But everybody, oh, even silk don't mama know. Don't <laughs> don't even you silk it. kids know. Wait, you, had, you got, you got Fiend. You got, uh, who else you got? Mia X. You got, uh, what's that other boy just got sick on there? The Chopper style, mm -hmm. Chopper style. He just was sick. Man, I really listen to Dylan from the band. God damn. Man, you got mad. You can't not leave. Still got Fred from the band. You was too young, man. How the hell you gonna say? And oh, niggas shit. gonna agree with your ass too, cause I they, won't, they know I'm you saying you wrong, man. Terrible, man. <laughs> no, man, it's just his cadence and his style is different. Most niggas like to be different from everybody. 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 You nigga, I can't do this no, with you. Bro. Was they wrong for not letting Lil Wayne uh, uh, perform? Lil Wayne was hurt, boy. But as he came apologize, I'm like, how this nigga apologize? They didn't say nothing, did he? Uh, I say this to say this, man. They say his own people didn't vote for him. What? Down there, they ain't want Weezy. They say Weezy and Birdman don't show no love to the yeah. city. No. They come down there. No. 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 That's not true. That is not true. They have them down there to vote who they want here. They look the other way. No, I man. I love Wayne. I feel like he should be able to do it. I'm just telling you what the people saying. They saying Birdman and Wayne them don't really represent New Orleans like they should. What do they want? They want Wayne to be like Wayne. They don't really represent New Orleans like they should. What do they want? I don't know. You can't please niggas. I just Bro, told you that. when you go down there, I went down there with them for essence, and I was out there. It was people everywhere. When what? he pulled up, they named the street after Birdman yeah. and the brothers. Hey, rifle, rifle, so they Look at what they done down there, bro. I just had an but issue look what with they didn't do. What they didn't they do. They say them niggas ain't handing out turkeys no more. Shit. Man, I'm a Birdman fan, too. Shit. Birdman ain't gonna handing out turkeys. Look here, playboy. You gotta hand out them turkeys, man. Ain't nobody really with... Coming up, ain't nobody hit the scene like No Limit and nah, Cash Money in New Orleans. Birdman a legend, no, man. He get a, lot of bad, flat, he get a lot of flack, but man, Birdman and, 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 and what's his name? Slim. Slim, man. come on, man. Juvenile, you never heard Slim talking about three times. Excuse me, Juvenile, <laughs> man, Wayne, Goats. But uh, they going with Kendrick right now. They saying right now, they saying Lil Wayne. BG. Man, BG everywhere. Looking like BG. somebody's grandma. <laughs> I love BG. BG killing it BG, out there. BG, that nigga rapping, man. That nigga rapping. That nigga rapping. Rap. 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 That's your grandma, bro. BG. You said that last time. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? That nigga still rapping. Bro, 
was I right or wrong? That nigga still Was I right or wrong? the nigga still rapping. Mama, was I right or wrong? Still rapping. Man, BG, the only rapper came home cold like a polar bear. No, 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 hell no. He didn't come home like Boosie came home on fire. That was a different time, dog. That was a bigger, better time. No, that was a different time. Pimp she came home on fire. That's a different nigga, man. Don't do that. Don't even. That that right there. BG came home and started rapping. I took a nap. No, man. BG will kill it. Well, it's what? Bro, what verse this man killed? I love him. No, I'm just joking. I love him. Who killed the verse right now? It wasn't him. Who? Future. Shit. Future, the only nigga rapping, huh? That nigga got you know, he, he crossed over. Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar. 69, you a 69. I don't God. that, bro. And he can't <laughs> sing that song the Super Bowl. He's not about no season. He's not about the same. He's he not playing. Nah. He's going to do the whole entire performance. He's not about the same. The entire they they performance is going to be down there like us. He's not about the same. That down there. Right there, true. No, we know. See your motherfucker. I'm cool with Top Dog. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool. Top dog out you there. know I'm yeah. with OG. OG and me, you know I'm, I'm, with, I'm, I'm with him. But my God, when it come down to down in that in that, that down under that down, under that dang water down there, where y'all from? Where gotcha. you from? Oh, I don't play about that. Gotcha. You got to be right when you go down there to New Orleans. Well, I tell you who ain't yeah. perform. I know who ain't gonna perform. Who? Sip the sock. Oh, ah yeah. no, he might. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gonna watch movies. He ain't gonna cut the TV. No, no, he might. We we don't know yet. I talked to him. We. Only verse, ever liked, only verse I ever liked from him was Bourbons and Lacks. You like that I one? I like that one. So you listen. Man, I, man, I'm just joking. Hip hop. That nigga bro. say hip hop. I'm joking. Nigga, you fun. old school hip hop. I like, I like yeah. silk, but you said Big rock. Daddy K, you said silk. He loves going in that bag. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got a bag. Big L. I got a bag. What? Did you know about Special Ed? Nope. See? Did you know about D Nice? I heard about D Nice. D Nice hell of a DJ right now, but he, what you know about what about, what you know about Roger Trotman and them stars? Oh, come on, man. What you call oh, that? That's that auto tune. Yeah, that's that. That's that. Hey, yeah, that's that. Computer yeah. love. He know about it. Dr. Dre them too, and put on yeah, California yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. I seen yeah, that. Yeah. I see. So but, he know his music. But Dre a hell of a sampler. They talk about Kanye West. But Tupac is the goat. Tupac. Oh, I know all them about that fam. I know all. You hear what you say? Hey, hey, Dre. You still got that California song? I do. <laughs> nigga, we come to get that. <laughs> we to get that to the right person. Yeah, yeah. Give me that to pop, nigga. Yeah. It was Snoop. Like Snoop was he on like that. Yeah. Snoop was on he didn't that. Like he, didn't like that. Yeah. he didn't like that. And Snoop was number one at the I time. I know, it, but he wanted, he wanted Pac on there. Give me that shit. Nigga, put Pac on him. Pac killed that hoe too, didn't he? A hit. Man. Who that nigga was dancing? What that nigga come through? And his man, Faith Evans, who y'all thought was, um, y'all believed all them years. She was lying. You see what she just said? Yeah, I see her. A bunch of meat. Yeah. You see that? She don't like me no more. That's what she said. She so did. And so I said, and, 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 and my 95 grandma, 95 year old grandma heard to say, baby, how much meat she had? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had a bunch. She said, yeah, I got She said it. She just got passed around. She said, yeah, she I, I had so many, it don't bother me. Yeah. don't matter. That's why I don't get excited over yeah, them pretty she, much. She don't get excited over meat no more. I saw something on social media the other day um, that says Superhead. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, she yeah. said. Yeah. Stephen, yeah. She said that um, Lil Wayne, if Lil, no, yeah. she don't she care who she that. talking to, if Lil, Lil Wayne call her, she, she, coming. she coming. What you think about that? Say it again. That um, Lil Wayne, if Lil Wayne call her, she could be with whoever she going. in a relationship. So committed. Every husband, that, that, that tell me one thing about Wayne. Wayne, Wayne ate that booty. What? Because <laughs> she done had a lot of brothers. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of men ain't eating booty. <laughs> And Wayne make a song, Prostitution. Remember that song, yeah, Prostitution? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're talking about. Wayne ain't that woman booty, man. And I'm going to be real, Wayne. I'm proud of you, fam. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Damn, man. Yeah, he ate that booty. Good, too. <laughs> yeah. I know I would I'm just being honest, man. This, this I would. I, I don't care about her being who she is, a hoe, or she been with whoever before me. That was before my time. I take Superhead to my family reunion right now. Mm. She still look good. And I walk in with her. Everybody, oh, that's Superhead, nigga, get back. So I saw it. So I gotta ask you this because I know a lot of times you be talking about men and women stuff oh, or whatever. Here we go. So I saw this, and I know some people disagreed with me on this topic, right? I want to get your some take people, on it. And he did, so this. listen to this. It says spoiling a woman don't always include money. True. It includes time, attention, True. being there emotionally, physically, and mentally. True. 
So you agree with that statement? I agree. I don't agree with that. I agree. I agree if that money gone, it's not going to be the same type of love. money gone, she gone. Yeah, it ain't going to be the same type of love. Not that always. That's different. That's it. Not always. You're you from a different bro. Yeah. era. Yeah, I'm telling you right money now. That money ain't there. I feel like time is worth more, more, more than the money. Nah, nah. No. You got to pick one. I ain't going to pick one. I can't give you all the time. And then give you money? No, you like take. Don't give me all your time, but still spend quality time. Man, oh, shit. Yeah. Only quality time I'm spending money. when we in between the seats. <laughs> <laughs> if we run out of money and we got to go out here and try to, you know, I'm, I'm, we got to get a can of beans and you eat one bean, a can of beans. Everybody else got a big house and cars and you, all your homegirls. Girl, I, I have three bean cans of beans. You only have one. Oh, y'all ain't got but one can of beans over there? Oh, this shit gonna start getting out. The happy. best option, we lose yeah. everything we got. And all your homegirls doing great in life. <laughs> you don't want me to sell dope no more, in which I'm not. Cause I'm not gonna get. Do, this the is best real. option is, baby, get out there and sell what you got. <laughs> But hey, you see the way Mr. Wilson been looking at you? Yeah, yeah, you know already. Yeah, right. We got to eat. Come on in. We got to eat. You used to be one. <laughs> go, go back to it. Let's have some shit. Now, what can these folks expect this weekend, man? A whole lot of laughter, man. But we better have a good time, man. We better have a lot of fun. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't lying, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. I love coming to the show. Don't you never come to Dallas and don't call me, man. man you know you invited. Like, you and mama invited to the biggest show I got. Last time I seen Yellow Bees over there, man, it was going down. You know what I'm saying? People support you. Yeah, he Baby, up, he all of them pull up, up man. Like I said, man, it'd it be a great, great chemistry, man. When you come, the way everything's set up, man. Like I said, I can't miss it, bro. It's a party, bro. Which city you JB, get the most show me love, oh, man. Which city you get the most love? Dallas. This weekend. Yeah, Dallas, <laughs> man. <laughs> Dallas. For real? I say that, but my people here is going to be mad yeah, as hell. Yeah, I was about to say. Because I want y'all to know y'all been asking yeah. next time, but I got five shows next year down at the Improv. Really? Yeah, they gave me five shows, oh, they too. They gave you five. So uh, I'll be next year, but... I'm coming down. Both of them, man. I will. It's, so much. It's, it's home. Texas is home. Texas so it. Austin, Texas show me love, yeah, too. Austin. Everybody. It's, it's love, man. But, yeah, it's... It's going to be fun this week. It's going to be I fun. I promise y'all it's going to be fun this week. Well, y'all better pull up, man. Get your tickets, man, because it's going down, man. I'm already, I'm going to be there. It's a lot of I'm, people I'm trying to be there. get Michael Parsons now. He coming? I'm wow. trying not to say he coming, but I'm trying to get him now. Cause yeah. Because they, they're going to they gonna lead to Saturday, so I'm trying to get him now tomorrow. Wow, oh, okay, boy. Okay, and then somebody like me, who is Michael Parsons? Uh, the football player for the Cowboys. The okay. defense end. Yeah, See, I don't yeah. be watching. Yeah, no, somebody from the Cowboys, as much as you be. You I'm mean, a couple of them coming, but I'm trying coming. to get the big fish. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. I know across. they're coming. We're big in talk, so I'm trying to get him to pull up. That's so all I need somebody like him to get, you know what I'm saying, come see this shit. And it's just game over. What have somebody said to you after they seen what anybody from, from the Cowboys said, man, dub this here or that? No, I should come. Look, look, right here and them, uh, my homeboy got a Springer company. Okay. So he picks to play uh, cowboy, some of the cowboy players up, and they all rock with me. They be talking yeah, about it like we know Dub yeah. to go off this week. Yeah, man. I know they be watching that for that inspiration. Oh, they yeah. watch it because they know. know it's not personal, man. I'm not personal attacking them, but nigga play better, fam. That's all. <laughs> just play better. Even <laughs> if you lose, prize, but if you just play, you just with effort. That's what it takes. Sometimes these players don't be having effort. I'll get them next game, nigga. I don't want to hear that. You know, I always say, man, boy, I don't know if they remember. When Troy Aikman used to lose, boy, he'd be mad at everybody in the damn room. He'd be ready to turn that hole up. That's what, that's what he don't want to lose, nigga. That's he wants to win. Want. He'll cuss you out in the game, nigga. Nigga, you, you see the, 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 the hand gestures. Yeah. He wasn't, some people don't like losing, bro. They not for the play with you, Uncle. And one thing I've been saying, people, I'm going to change the subjects, man. People who got jobs and nine to fives, man. Y'all take all kind of secrets, y'all jobs from y'all boss. But then you want to go home and cuss your kids out and talk bad to them and your girl. You don't talk to your boss like that. That's real. You stop talking to them like that, man. That's real. Let's be real, man. Stop going home, talking to your girl, wife, or kids bad. But when your boss call you a boy, get on your ass, you don't say shit. Yes, sir. That's, That's right. True. That's right. That That's the truth that thing. That ain't real. That ain't men. That ain't real men activities, man. That's right. That's right. And, and, and you know damn well you're wrong for it. But yep. just put it up somewhere. Somebody did something. Yeah. Real talk, man. <laughs> they taking our frustration on home. Yeah, man. <laughs> no, nah, that's some real conversation. Go home and be macho against your girl and kids. Yeah. Nigga, be macho against your boss. That's right. That's who you really mad at. Don't be getting mad because you ain't got no more PTO, nigga. You can't take off. I can't take off Shit. that PTO, man. You, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? That's real. That it's is so bills, real. man. Real bills. Man, yeah. bills don't stop coming. Nigga be yeah, missing no. work and they hitting you up, man. I need some money. Yeah, fam. Take your ass to work. <laughs> I ain't got nothing for you. Well, and another thing I want to talk about, so my blessing is my blessing. Your blessing is your blessing. Sometimes God bless us, and we got so much love in our heart, we want to bless them up. That ain't what God doing that for. No, no. 
Sometimes people see what you're doing now. Man, boss talking, open up some door for me. No, I can't. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I can't. You got to have your mind. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm a comedian, man. I can't help you with football. I can't help you run routes. <laughs> I'm a comedian. If you're a rapper, I can't get your record broke. That's mm -hmm. real. Real shit. I'm a comedian. I can't help you become a doctor. Yeah, because I know That's people real. don't mean I can send you could be a rapper and I can send you to zero. If that shit ain't what Roe want here, he gonna tell me, bro, don't send that nigga over. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga can't rap. Because now I'm getting in their business. He ain't yeah. telling me how to be no comedian. He ain't telling me how to do no jokes. That's real. But people feel like who you attached to, you can help them with them. It don't work like that. Bro. You get that a lot, don't Man, you? Man, I'm tired of that shit. I'm not getting the dough like I want to be yet, dog. I'm working. I'm just trying to focus on me and what I got going. I don't want to hear no bullshit ass fucking music. I don't want to hear it. They want you to Man, show. listen, I got to take time out of my day to listen to some shit. Now you're mad. <laughs> that ain't, you know it, Scream, you know it ain't fire. Man, be honest with me, fam. <laughs> you don't want that. All right. <laughs> Do you actually be honest with them? Yeah. Garbage. <laughs> and they get mad at you. I won't give, I won't give them a chance to, because after I tell them it's garbage, I block them. <laughs> but people, some people, did, some people do send me music and it be fire, and I do what I can. Like I send it to some people that I know. Hey man, y'all listen to it. Let me know what you think. I don't hear nothing back. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know I what I'm saying? That, but I think I, people get mad at me, like, bro, I can't do what you think I could do, bro. I'm not a music executive. I'm not a movie executive. Or, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're sending me your movie scripts, and I can read them. But oh, next time they send you movies, you read. Hey man, you think uh. You can run this to Florida. We can get two or three hundred dollars. It don't work like that. I could do that. Hey, Floyd, what you think about this movie? This guy got first thing Floyd gonna say. Why would you do that for him? He supposed to bring me your own movie. Mm -hmm. That's what he gonna say. That's exactly what he gonna say. Why you ain't bring me your own movie? Why yeah. I'm helping him? That's real. Come on, brother. That's, 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 that's kind of talks me and Floyd have. Like, bro, why you ain't doing this yourself? Why you trying to do that for somebody else? What I done told you, if you bring somebody else in, that's less you gonna get. That's real. So That's the honest you got to get there first. Correct. So I don't ask Floyd them for nothing. I don't ask Floyd for shit. If I call Floyd, I might just need to get away for two or three days. Hey, well, yeah, bro, I'm from pull up. I'm in Miami. Come on. Shit like that. That's what. That's Floyd real. money and not, no, I'm working myself. I ain't even asking to get on my show yet. Yeah. I could have been done got him on my show, but I, I'm just not. I want it to happen the way I want it to happen with people, man. That's real. Sometimes Floyd just want me to be around, just to be around, because he around so many other people that. Floyd think he a comedian. So when he around everybody, he trying to make them laugh. But when I come around, he ain't trying to be that no more. He can just go back to the box, bro. Grandpa roll or whatever. Yeah. That, that's my job, you know what I'm saying? But that's yeah, hard, Floyd, I like Floyd, it. Floyd, 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 cool people. You call and check on me, little bro, what's up? You need me to share something for you? And you already know, man, for Floyd to post something, <clears throat> that's $50,000 to $100,000 for him to put it on your stories. Damn. And he can do it out of me just off GP. Off GP. Yeah. That's God. That's the God. Of God will change your yeah. life on the in a So when I told my Floyd story, niggas thought I was lying, thinking I was copying Kevin Hart. No, nigga, that's my real life story. Yeah, yeah. And then, oh, you lying. And then Floyd getting the comment, oh, you wasn't lying. Like, I tried to tell you, wasn't no story. Niggas, real life. Real life. I went to Dubai, nigga. I yeah. spent $8,000. I remember. He spent 80000 He telling me we finna go do it again. No, we not. <laughs> Chase blowing my motherfucking phone up. Unusual activity. <laughs> Jerry Morgan, it is you. No. <laughs> I just spirit that goddamn 8000 <laughs> That really, that really happened. That's hard. Can't man. make the shit up. You said it on the show yeah, earlier. That's man. why I know because I I came to Houston just to interview yeah. you because I, I wanted to interview you by then. Don't you hate when people tell you that? Like you tell your story. It's and unbelievable. And everybody, like, nah, everybody, no, that ain't, ain't real. You telling a lie. Yeah. You you lying. But everybody ain't doing it, so you can understand where people, people are not think you lying because they might have heard someone tell a joke. They sound similar. similar. But then once they actually go back and do the homework, oh, duh, really was in Dubai. Yeah. Oh, Doug really is cool, Flo. I always, niggas like, oh, shit. But they ain't gonna come back and on them apologize. My bad, mm -hmm. bro, I wrong. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, 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 so somebody might get seen that coming. Oh, you took that from Kevin Hart and run with it. They never come back and see the truth. They just run with it. That's and they right. mind, oh, Doug stole the joke. As you talk about um, coming back online and apologizing, did you see where Boosie apologized to his Post daughter? Post to his daughter. Online? Yeah, I, I love that. that. I like that. Boosie that. might be a lot of things. I can bump into him a couple times, but when they come to them babies, he gonna yeah. make it right. Yeah, I but I love do. that. I love he the fact that he right, did a, a public apology. 
He posted. He publicly mm-hmm. did what he did. Right. Yeah. Come out and Come publicly out and do it. Yeah. But you're real. When I, I would expect him to yeah. do that. You know what I mean? I mean, you don't want to hurt your kids. No. Right. No. No, none of them. Not no, your, not your flesh of blood. Them. You don't want to do that to None them. of them. But I think what hurt him the most when she, what she say, he, he's not something. He's not emotional. He, yeah. It's yeah. something she said he sucks at. Yeah. And I think they hit home. I think mm. he know, like. He know he got to work on that. And you know, I you know, it too. you know. Well, I ain't gonna hold you up, Bubba Dub, man. We love you, bro. How can people get a hold of you if they looking out, trying to holler at you? See, you looking at me right now on Boss Talk. <laughs> you know they got my contact. <laughs> yeah. But, what, what, but what, you can hit me that? up on IG at Bubba Dub 94. On, the buddy. real Bubba Dub on TikTok. Uh, Bubba Dub Jr. on Facebook uh, page. Or you can just Google me. I'll pop up somewhere, man. Somebody better get a hold of me, man. You don't be answering them DMs. Nah, not no more. <laughs> <laughs> what about my boy JB, man? What, oh, what's going on? Same thing, grinding, doing it, doing it, doing Tell it. Tell me, like, 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 what, what, what can I expect to see when I come out here? Is oh, you gonna open this show up? What's going on, you man? Yeah, I know how I go. Whenever I go, how I go, I'm coming with it. So it don't matter how, <laughs> how it is. I'm just gonna do my thing. Already, how can people get a hold of you? Same way, Google me, comedian JB, the real J Braswell, uh, Facebook Jarrell Braswell slash comedian, and everything will pop up. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. And we out.